Good day, my beautiful citizens of Thra, and welcome back to my series, Seven Things You Didn't Know About the Seven Gelfling Clans. Today, we will be covering the Drenchen. Number one, Drenchen Healing. Some of us may already be familiar with Naya's incredible gift of healing. But interestingly, the art of Drenchen Healing is actually not a rarity, and many tribe members practice this unique ability. At a young age, Children who have strong healing powers are identified by the elders and inducted into training programs to help them better understand this gift. Before some have even sprouted wings, they can learn to mend fractured bones or gradually heal life-threatening conditions. It would seem that these abilities were not just reserved for twins, but for the Drenchen as a whole. Number 2. Hard Talk As the name sounds, Hard talk was a special form of communication used primarily at council meetings between important members making important decisions. Hard talk was not a different language or a different form of dialect, but was instead an honest and sometimes harsh way of speaking. Oftentimes, especially in political arguments, one might be afraid to speak their mind and tell the council their true thoughts, concerned that they might cause offense to the others. If this was the case, and they truly felt it necessary to convey their feelings, the council would enter hard talks. While in hard talks, one was free to speak their mind without feeling judged or scrutinized, and in this way could better convey, represent, and display the true feelings of all. Number 3. Sog Flower Wine Like many of the Gelfling clans, the Drenchen also have their own form of delicious recreational delights. For them, it is sog flower wine. Growing in vast numbers all throughout the swamp is a large flowering water plant that fully blooms as the water levels rise and fall. As the flower stamens grow heavy with pollen, the Drenchen head out into the swamps to collect them and bring them back to the apothecaries to be reduced down into a sweet, thick syrup. It is then mixed with other various fruits and juices from the swamp, and fermented for some time. Interestingly, the flower is also utilized for medicinal paste which can quickly heal injuries, and even the wine itself calms the body and even promotes hydration. Number 4. Drenchen Drums Among the arms of the Great Smurth, the Drenchen's home tree, there are clusters of drums entwined in the branches, with skins so thick you can even play them with spearheads. Every morning, to signal the start of the day, a single drummer begins a steady beat, and throughout the morning is joined by more drummers, each playing the same steady powerful beat, until at last every creature in the forest is awake, and the sound of the drums mimics the beating hearts of the trees. The drumming itself never stops, it continues all day long with clan members working in shifts, providing a flow and identification which is utilized by people like blacksmiths to keep rhythm, and hunters far out in the forest who will always know where home is. Number 5. Mystic Blue Blue is an especially important and meaningful color to the Drenchen. It represented the sky, the lakes, the rains, and the rivers and of course, their special indestructible blue stone, often crafted and given as gifts. Drenchen even paint themselves blue in ceremonial art. The fires are blue, the celestial bodies are blue, and even the Madras chambers are protected by blue medallions. Nearly 90 different dyes were made in a rainbow of blue hues, made from pollens, fruits, vegetables, and minerals from the earth. And most importantly, it represented the color of their healing magic. Number 6. Spear Breaking Although many tend to believe that the bola was the Drenchen's weapon of choice, it was actually their spears. Constructed from a wooden shaft, which represents mortality, and a nearly indestructible blue stone spear tip, which represents spirituality, these spears were not just tools for battle, but for ceremony. Whenever a spear was almost at the end of its life, the warrior would break the staff completely and remove the stone head. The wood is then returned to the lake to rejoin Thra, and the spearhead is fitted to another staff. And with each new mark the spearhead obtains through the vigorous life of each warrior, 
the mark is immortalized by blue dye. As a result, most elders' spear tips are completely blue, and when a great warrior should finally pass on, his spear is broken by the Madra herself and buried with him, while the radiant blue spearhead is hung with hundreds of others in the Great Smurth's canopy. Number 7. Water Fasting Although Gelfling mines are far too small to dream fast with other creatures, or with Thra itself, many Drenchen elders still practice the art of water fasting. It is not practiced by all, but every morning and evening, small groups of elders will gather at the shorelines, wade out into the lakes until they are waist deep, and place their palms face down onto the surface of the water, while humming softly with their eyes closed, attempting to connect to the planetary energies. Even though nothing significant has ever occurred, many are convinced that the crystal does in fact hear them. Though the ripples on the surface of the water may be small, they know their reverberations reach the core of the earth. Well my friends, that's going to do it for the Drenchen. Now it's time for you guys to leave all of your thoughts and opinions down below in the Great White Void. Tell me, what is your favorite aspect of the Drenchen clan? As always, until next we meet, take care, for Thra, for Jim, and I'll see you guys back here for the next video very soon. Thank you.